How are you, Oscar? I'm very good. How are you doing? Good. So my first question is, as an actor, uh, how was your process of leaving Steven's atmosphere and diving into Mark's universe? Yeah, well, for me, the, it was really important to figure out who Steven was first, because that's how we're introduced into the whole world. So figuring out this character who's, you know, English and, you know, very introverted, but is desperate to connect with people uh, and is confused about his life and what's going on. He, he has a, a really dry sense of humor. Uh, and then the counterpoint to that being Mark, who is hiding a lot of things, who's pushing people away, who's also very confident in the world, but it's the, it's the exact opposite and finding the tension between the two. I thought there was a real opportunity to, in some ways, lean into the more stereotypical aspects of like the action hero, but what makes yeah. it special is that he has this little Englishman living inside of him. And as an executive producer, what was your main vision or main goal in this series? Uh, my main goal was to create a real legitimate character study, uh, like a psychological thriller within the MCU, which I haven't seen yet, and to make it really feel like you're in his point of view at all times. So it's not necessarily what what reality looks like, but it's what his reality feels like. Sure. And which one, uh, which of the two sides can you identify more with, like Mark or Steven? Well, there's definitely elements of both that I identify with a lot, but I just love Steven. I love being, <laughs> I love talking like Steven. I miss Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any favorite scene? Yeah, you know, well, there's a few scenes that I really love, but I, there's something about the scene in the diner when he when his date doesn't show up uh, mm -hmm. that I, I, just, I think it's really moving for me because it's when everything just starts to fall apart for him. And what was the decisive factor for you to accept to do Moon Knight? Um, I think when I felt uh, that it was going to be a real creative collaboration, you know, I felt it from Kevin Feige and I felt it from Mohamed Diab, the director. It felt like it wasn't just going to be like, okay, show up, stand there, do your line. And yeah. do what you're going to do. it felt like, no, no, we're going to create this together. And what do you find interesting? How do you want to, like, what kind of character do you want to make? And so it just felt like there was a lot of freedom. Thank you so much, Oscar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.